Hey guys, Sakai here with a uh, semi-scripted video. I want to talk about Bionic Fuel. I tuned into uh, Elite FPS earlier today and I saw him running Bionic Fuel while farming Void Shards. Um, I've seen other streamers and content creators suggest Bionic Fuel for Bunny and I basically want to use this video here to say I think it's a really bad module. Now, I do want to caveat this with like I'm not here to like throw shade or create drama or be like, no, you're wrong, you're evil for suggesting this. What I want to do is instead be like, here is my take on the situation. Here is why I think it's bad. Maybe you will change your build as a result of this, right? Because the game is still very, very new. And I, you know, totally understand that people are playing around with different things. And in my experience, I just think Bionic Fuel is really, really bad. Let's kind of get to the meat of the issue straight up. Bionic Fuel reduces your sprint speed bonus from speed of light from 50% to 30%. Now, most guns in the game or guns that you'll be using have a sprint speed of 800, which means that if you don't have Bionic Fuel equipped, you'll go up to 1200 movement speed. With Bionic Fuel equipped, you'll go to 1040. This is basically equal to Bionic Fuel being 15.4% slower. So if you ran in a straight line, Bunny would be 15.4% slower if she has Bionic Fuel on compared to if she's just sprinting normally. Now, the so-called benefit of Bionic Fuel is that it allows you to use HP instead of MP. I think this trade-off is completely useless and I'm going to explain why. Firstly, no one's running Bionic Fuel in Colossus fights. It's not necessary and you'll use the other module instead. Um, so what we're looking at here is just other types of farming, infiltrations, the Echo Swamp mission, void shards, that kind of thing. When farming this type of content, mobs drop mana orbs, and more notably, you can run MP collector to make sure that you recover all of your MP. You can also use reduced cost modules and a reactor with reduced cost if that doesn't quite cut the mustard. Less important on a reactor, but definitely on modules because uh, strong mentality alone is minus 35%, which with MP friendly external components equals to about 32 seconds of speed of light active before you run out of mana. So that's 32 seconds without you finding a mob to either drop a mana orb or proc MP collector. So if you add a reactor, strong mentality and the other cost reduction module, you can get your time down to about 50 seconds. I've never encountered any piece of content in the game where I need 50 seconds of continued usage before I can proc MP collector or collect um, MP orbs. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that anyway. You can go for 50 seconds and theoretically a little bit longer with some other modules as well, but we don't need to worry about that. Now, since it's pretty trivial to kill everything with lightning mission, or we shoot elites where we're not going to use that ability to kill them anyway, Investing one or two slots of our module capacity into reducing cost is completely reasonable. We're also freeing up a skill module, which means we can run something like high voltage if we really want to be sweaty and get the maximum amount of juice out of our movement speed as possible, because that gives you an MS buff as well. So we'll also keep that in mind. Now, let's not forget that with Bionic, we're moving 15% slower, which translates into 15% fewer procs of lightning emission. This is like a flat 15% damage reduction, but this doesn't include other things like faster procs mattering for clear speed because you might miss one cycle and obviously more frequent cycles is going to translate on average to you killing things 15% quicker at minimum. Like that's at minimum that it's gonna translate into. This is also important to note with something like someone might say, hey, I run this with Walk the Tightrope. Well, we don't need the damage for most of the content, but even if we did, we're losing a decent chunk of the benefit that we get because we're now hitting more infrequently. And any content where we do need the damage, we're gonna run electric condense anyway. So Bionic Fuel wouldn't make the cut for a situation where that would be important. Now, if you're still hell bent on Bionic Fuel, it's fine if you wanna run it, but I do wanna let you know, you should also run MP conversion as well. The reason why is because I tested Bionic Fuel against Bunny rolling with cooldown and yeah, it's literally quicker to roll on Bunny than it is to sprint with Bionic Fuel. This is just a straight flat DPS upgrade if you're going to keep Bionic Fuel on. It really sucks to know that if you're running Bionic Fuel, but yeah, you should be rolling if you're going to run this module. Um, yeah, I should note that 
Um, I'm always willing to listen to feedback. And if you can present a case to me on anything that I do and that I'm wrong, and you can reason that with evidence, logic, facts, everything else, that's totally cool. And if you can do that with bionic fuel, if you can convince me otherwise, please go right ahead. If you can show me any scenario where a bionic fuel setup is superior to one that uses MP collector and um, reduced scale cost, I am 100% all ears. There might be one very, very niche scenario. I can actually think of one situation now in the, off the top of my head. When you're running around the map collecting the um, resources from the barrels and whatever, technically you would have infinite sprint on bionic fuel. So you could go forever just collecting like, you know, all, all that stuff that you need to craft. That's it. That's literally all I can think of right now. If you've got another example though, please let me know. I'm all ears. I also want to point out that like, sometimes people will give you suggestions. Like for me, someone could come to me and say, Hey dude, I saw you giving suggestions that people clear bunny with this setup on devourer. And it took you a minute and 30 seconds for your clear. You should level up ultimate glaze. You should spend a day leveling up ultimate glaze and you should clear devourer in 30 seconds. Now I've done the math in my head of like, where I see the efficiency in that. It's not worth the trade-off for me to get like an extra minute out of the kill, but then having to feed in crystalline catalysts and all that kind of thing and XP on Glay just so I can clear it very, very quickly. That would be cool to do, but I've got lots of things that I need to do in the first ascendant and that's like 10th on the list or whatever, right? The benefit of this suggestion here is that like it's quick, right? What I'm suggesting isn't like a huge overhaul of your character. You just have to take off a module and switch out another module and you'll be you'll instantly feel so much better because you'll be running quicker you'll be killing things quicker and yeah whether or not that translates directly into a 15 percent increase it doesn't matter because it definitely translates into that at least right it, it, it is a benefit no matter what no matter what that benefit is it's just so much better it's so much nicer so um yeah i think bunny is really bad with bionic fuel I don't think anyone should take this module. I hope I have convinced you of that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you can still run it. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Peace.